Hey, what's happening, ladies and gentlemen? Stevie Davidson here. Obviously, we're not shaving, but this is shave related. All right, now I just got in from Wet Shaving Products a brand new Gold Dollar 208 Factory Edge, meaning blunt. This is not shave ready. Dull as a spoon. And uh, as you can see, uh, the stabilizer here and the toe can be problematic, specifically the stabilizer for honing. The toe part is really up to the user, but I tend to round it off too because I tend to cut myself below my ears if I don't. So I'm going to show you where to trim the heel and the toe in this video of these grazers. Now, be warned, these are a 50-50 shot out of the box. And the geometry issues become a problem, but I'm going to show you how to fix that in this video, and it's going to be done in several segments. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to mark right here on the toe. You want to take off just enough, right in, right in there. Okay. You also want to take off right in here. This is where your problem issue is at. That's what prevents it from sitting flat on the stones. You could do rolling strokes if you wanted to, but to me that takes a lot of time. And I don't think it's really necessary to go that route. So that's pretty much all we're going to do right there. All right, let me go ahead and get this set up here real quick and I'll get started. It's a Dremel cordless. Do not be afraid to do this. Don't go nuts. Just take your time. Go easy. And if you need to, run it under some cold water. I got, I'm here in my bathroom, and I've got it uh, the faucet set to cold just in case I need it. Because you don't want to ruin the temper of the blade. Now watch carefully. I'm going to do this slowly on low. water on there. Some more cold water. And that should be plenty right there for that one. Okay, let me turn this off for a minute and see how we did. Okay, now I'm going to bring you back over here to the edge here and we'll see if I've got it fixed yet. Just about. Going to need a little bit more. This side's fine. But this side needs a little bit more. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
see what we got now. Noisy thing that it is. Okay, that sounds good. That sounds good. Bingo, bango, boom. You cleared out this stabilizer, which is where it hits, right in here when you hone, and then you do it here. Well, I'm going to go ahead and shut the video off real quick right here, and I'm going to clean up my mess a little bit and try to clean up the razor a little bit more and make it look somewhat aesthetically pleasing. So I will be back in a couple of minutes. So stand by. I will be right back. Okay, I am back, ladies and gentlemen. After I ground it down with this and took off some steel, I went ahead and deburred it with a 220 grit sanding disc. And to make sure it stayed smooth and there was no real medical part, metal particles coming out, I went ahead and took my compound that came in the Dremel kit that I got in here, and I took a buffing wheel to it, and I buffed it out along that stabilizer area right in here, as you can see, on both sides, and I also did the ends too, and I also did the face of the blade, so I hope you can see that real well. So that's pretty much all the work you need to do with a Dremel. Alright, when I come back, I should be setting the bevel, and I'll have my stones ready to go. So stand by. I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. As you can see, I've done took my 80 grit diamond plate to it. I've done rounded off all the corners. And i got to do this with both stones. This is the 600 grit uh, well-worn diamond plate that I used to flatten my stones. I used the 80 grit first and I go over it with this to smooth out the stones and make sure they're dead flat. You draw a grid or an X and lines or whatever and then after the fact you take a well-worn diamond plate or you can use a wet dry sandpaper uh, that you can get Walmart all kinds of stuff. But uh, That's pretty much to smooth out any and all uh, corners and whatnot. You want to round the corners down real good too. See these corners, if you don't round them off, you can ruin the edge if you're not careful. That's what she looks like flat. That's the 320 grit. Okay, when I come back, I should be uh, ready to roll and whatnot. And I've got one more stone to do just like that. So stand by. I will be right back. Okay, here's the 80 grit in action. Getting there. A little water here.
Perfect. Now we do the edges. Don't take much on the corners. They stick out pretty good enough to where you get that knocked down pretty good real quick. Another thing that benefits uh, rounding off these corners is that if you do drop it, it lessens the impact and it reduces the risk of it breaking. It's supposed to, right? but I don't plan on dropping my stone, so... Let's rinse this puppy off. This 80 grit diamond play, I tell you what, it makes for quick work. Yeah, you gotta go back over it with another diamond plate to smooth it out, and it does a fine job doing that. But I tell you what, I don't spend all day flattening my stones. Point blank, I don't. What these mud, the mud comes up off these stones really quick. All right. Get a little water on there for some loop. Let's move it out with a 600 grit. Okay, and that'll do it for the flattening of the stones. Uh, when I come back, I'll be uh, ready to go and whatnot, and uh, go ahead and get started on the bevel set. So stand by, I will be right back. I gotta give the razor a bath and some barbicide first, so be right back. Okay, I'm back. We're going to start with a new bevel setting procedure. It's a Shapton Pro Kuramaku 320 grit. Now, there's some people out there that's like, Whoa, you're going too low, blah, blah, blah. No. I watched uh, Keith Johnson's latest video, and he had a philosophy that kind of uh, caught on to my... Got, kind of got me going a little bit, and he said he would rather... Start with 10 round trips on 120K, or 120 grit, rather, excuse me. Then he would rather do 
20 laps on a 320 grit. So basically what he's saying is that uh, specifically is use a lower grit stone. I mean, that's what they're for. You're doing an initial bevel set, and why not use the lower grit stones? That's what they're for. So that's what I'm going to try to do in this one. With that being said, we're going to get started. Uh, let's do the tap and wobble test. As you can see, flat, tiny bit there, but it will smooth out as I keep going when I hone, but not enough to really mount to nothing. So let's get started. Just doing half strokes the length of the stone, and as you can see, the razor hits the entire stone. Pretty fast cutter so far. Now what I'm doing here, I'm using a ton of torque. This is bevel set. I'm not white knuckling it, but I'm not far from it. See the metal coming up here? Now with these gold dollar razors, you gotta move them. You get you gotta remove some metal to get them good. Didn't have to use tape on this one, so that's a plus. Once I got the heel and toe trimmed, I'm good to go. Get an even hit all the way across. Getting there. Alrighty, let's see here. I'm gonna do forty seconds. I believe that was 40. 40 seconds on this side. Do a lot of rinsing, a lot of rinsing. That swarf is also metal particles, and you don't want to ruin your edge that way either. So it helps just to be near a sink and do a lot of rinsing, if you will. You even hit all the way across. Perfect, almost perfect. Now we're going to do 20 seconds.
Now I'm going to do two-way stickers on this side. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Five seconds. Clean ups. Now we do ten X strokes. This is done. And let's see what we have here. With the old thumbnail, now hold it at a 45 degree angle approximate, and then you drag the edge along the thumbnail. As you can see, it's getting there. Still needs more work, but you get the idea. It should feel like you want to bite into your th thumbnail and then try to split it. I'm pretty close, so when I come back, I'll be on the 1K and we should be ready to go. So stand by. I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. This is my Naniwa Professional 600 grit. So I thought I'd go ahead and do a little bit on it uh, before I uh, went to the 1K to smooth out the 320 scratches. My undercut's looking real good. Do some egg strokes. Very nice. Feedback slowly changing and getting there, but it's not far off from where I need to be before I jump to the one carry. There's the stone. Okay, now. Now for the thumbnail test. Did I wet my thumb? Oh, yeah. Alright, since I've just done the thumbnail test, I pretty much just killed my edge, so I'm going to have to go back over the stones again, but that won't take long to do. That's another thing I wanted to talk about too, is pressure. On the 320 grit, I'm bearing down pretty good, but when I get to the 600, I lighten up a little bit. Not a lot, but enough to notice. And I'll do the same for each stone. Like when the 1K, I'll go even less. 5K is usually where I stop. 
that uh, go the length of stone and I'll do a little bit with pressure and then a little bit without. Now we're going to do some X strokes and get it back to where it was. Even hit all the way across. Great, right, let's switch the stone off and get it out of the way. And we'll check for an arm hair test. We'll touch arm hair. I tell you what, I'll use one of mom's hairs and see what happens here. Hmm. Can't do it. Let's see what happens if I shave. Cut a few, but definitely needs more work. Okay, when I come back, I will be ready to roll, and we should have it ready. So stand by. I will be right back. I'm going to, have to tape this bad boy up. Okay, I'm back briefly. Uh, still having a little trouble right in here. As you can see, I'm hitting it and right in here. So with that being said, I'm back on the 320. And I'm going to show you a little trick I do to make sure I get it even hit. This is the edge of the stone, by the way. Sit here and I should hopefully clean it up enough. Do a little level of tin on this side here. Tin on this side. Clean up step one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. And that'll do it, my friends. That's why I don't like these things. I've got to put so much dang work in them to them, it's not funny no more. I mean, it really isn't. My Parker 720, I would have been done. Same deal with my Ralph Faust. So that's why I do not like, that's why I do not like these things right here. I mean, you just got to do so much, I'm finally getting it even all the way across. See? Still need a little bit more on this side. When I come back, I should have uh, everything ready to go and not. And I got to charge my phone up too. So stand by. I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. And as you can see, I had to put a ton of spine wear, namely right up in here is where it's been hitting. 
I've got that narrowed down now, so now we're on to the Shapton Pro Kermaku 1K. 40 seconds worth. I believe that was 40. 40 seconds on this head. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Five seconds. Clean up ten of them. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fantastic. And as you can see, stone's clean other than my fingerprints. That's what I'm talking about, boys and girls. I love it when a stone doesn't load up. Now, let's see how the thumbnail test does. Ooh. Nice. That bevel is pretty much set, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to do about uh, 20 more egg strokes and get it done. One, two, three. That'll do it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys another time. Take care, and God bless. Later.